hi guys welcome back to my kitchen this is georgina if you are new to my channel it's so great to have you here in today's recipe i want to share with you how i make my goosey soup as they say there are so many ways to kill the cats there are also so many ways to make your goosey soup so this is how i make mine and i want to share it with you guys it's so so delicious let's get started so for the protein i'm going to use goat meat wash your goat meat and add it to your saucepan I'm also going to add in smoked chicken. So I'm going to um, um, chop up my veggies and blend it, add it to the chicken and the goat meat. So I have ginger, garlic, habanero pepper and onion. I'm going to blend it till smooth and add it to the goat meat. Put your goat meat on the fire and add it to it. I'll then add in goat meat spices and some salt. Give it a quick stir, cover it and let it boil for some minutes. So as you know goat meat is very hard. So when you're boiling it, you need to give it some minutes for it to get tender or almost soft. After, I'll then... Um, Break my catfish into pieces and add it to a boiled water. Cover it and let it sit for some minutes. So the boiled water um, helps it to soften it before adding it to the soup. So I'll cover it and set it aside. By then your goat meat should be halfway cooked. Give it a stir and check if it's still hard. If not, let it cook again until it's almost tender. At this point, you want to go ahead and chop up your veggies. I have red chili pepper, habanero pepper, red bell pepper, and uh, yellow bell pepper. I'll chop it into smaller pieces, add it to my blender, and blend. So I used only one fresh tomatoes for this. Some people don't use tomatoes at all, but it, it's, it's optional. So guys, at this point, my goat meat is ready. As you can see, it's almost tender. Um, you do not want it to make it very soft, if not. Mm. <laughs> so this is the point that I want it almost tender. This is how I want it. I'll add in my blended veggies, which is the onion, chili pepper, tomatoes, and um, red bell pepper. So I'll give it a quick stir, cover it, and let it boil again. So I make it boil for some minutes, and guys, as you can see, the um, the veggies that I put it that I put earlier on as is almost good. At this point, I'll add in my crayfish powder, shrimp powder. The fish that um, I soaked in water earlier on. I'll give it a quick stir. And add in some water. So I'll go ahead and add in one shrimp cube and stir it again. So you can add in more water if needed. You know, we are making soup, so... Adding more water if if you think it needs water. I'll go ahead and blend my melon seeds, which is the egusi. So you can put yours in the blender, add in a little bit of uh, water and blend. But this, I want to use my manpower. <laughs> eh, my woman power. I want to use my woman power to blend, so, to grind it. So um, I'll grind it like this. And that's the consistency you're looking for. You're looking for a thick paste like this just like this so by then your soup should be almost ready and add it to it making this is very very easy it's easy making this you just have to follow the steps and guys you're good to go 
<laughs> so I waited for some time for the egg to cook. If you think it needs water, please add in water. So I let mine cook a bit. As you can see, I just added in some water because it needs a little bit of water. I'll give it a quick stir or stir it until everything has come together. At this point, you want to go ahead and chop your spinach or any green leaf that you want to use. I'll go ahead and preheat my palm oil, adding um, red onion to um, steam it. Not that much, a little bit is okay. So I also used pomo, but I cooked my pomo earlier on. It was already soft. I didn't want to add it from add it to it from the initial stage. So um when the soup is almost ready, I added in the pomo. But if you think your pomo is very hard, you can add it to it from the initial stage. At this point, I wanna go ahead and add in my spinach and then stir it a little bit and add in the palm oil. And guys, this is it. It's very simple, it's easy, all in one pot, and you are good to go. <laughs> so I'll stir it a little bit, let it cook for some few minutes, and guys, when you get to this point, congratulations, you've reached your destinations. <laughs> you've made yourself a goosey soup, and trust me, this turned out so, so delicious, guys, you can't imagine. Turned out so, so delicious and it was very very yummy guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like comment um subscribe to my channel follow my page and guys <laughs> people some people enjoy it with um how do they call it with pounded yam but i like mine with um a bag I also sometimes I also enjoy it with um, a pounded yam but this time around I wanted to eat it with a pan and guys it was so so delicious guys thanks for watching see you in my next video and stay blessed see you in my next video again till then bye bye